Oh boy, oh boy, oh. <coughs> I'm feeling better. I swear. <coughs> it's been fun. We are entering the final major chapter. Chapter 5 is very, very strange for odd reasons. It's the wrap up chapter that really focuses a little too much on the wrapping up part of things. It's also kind of interesting that you straight up just go straight to the house itself. Or a hostel. What is a hostel? Oh, it's like an inn. Huh. Because I always thought that, uh. I guess that's a problem on my end. Isn't there like a special character background for this out? Farm 2, yeah. Then the glitch version. So we are about to encroach on one heck of a thing. Also, this is not extraordinary size. I don't care what you say. That's a regular ass farmhouse. Also, what's that? Why is there. <laughs> I never noticed there was a tire on the roof. Why do they have oil drums? Pretty sure any self respecting person would use a. Uh, you know, And again, the fact that you only have singular and plural wrapped into one U kind of makes things a little bit complicated at times. <laughs> I like this response a bit more. Emmer also has days off. It's a bit sassy. That's logical. I can't believe I Like, your character's kind of like, ah, that makes sense. Ooh, that makes sense. Oh, no, this is not there. This is not the farmhouse. Um, this is the hatchery. Which still looks like a really normal house. Now, hatchery, I don't think we have a term for that. I think this word's come up before, but actually, that does work. He also doesn't explain what the hatchery is, which seems like something you might want to explain ahead of time. I need to translate this, take him. Okay, fine, I'll do that. Here's the thing to consider. Why the hell is he doing this? Breaking into a hatchery is not an easy job, especially not with this high alert. All things considered, Reza was taking a significant risk to try and overpower a species that is generally more powerful than him. To acquire what? Hostage material? There are better ways to get your hands on that. 
Especially since it's implied he already has a generator. Why not say, I put a bomb on a school? I don't know, something you could use- I can, Okay, it's, it's actually summer vacation, so the, the schools aren't in. But he could put a bomb in, like, a building. I don't know, like, put down a threat that's significant. That doesn't require you to take a massive risk where you're doing it. I mean, sure, he used a bullet, but whatever. We just kind of make it- Here's the thing, though. How does- how does Izumi have a gun? It, it's never explained where she gets her gun from in the situations in which she's the one who does this. Yeah, like, this, this, this bothers me a lot, because she's a very different victim with a very... Like, at this point, it feels like they ran out of budget, you know? This is the point where, like, ah, they ran out of budget, they can't afford the good stuff anymore. I mean, I get that up first, it's like you have to speculate about what's going on before you can start establishing things. But at the same time, it's like here they sort of hand wave a majority of the investigation. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna mention your character's like for chickens? Oh wait, no, no, no. No, that's not what the question is. I can't imagine that being very expansion-proof. That sounds like a terrible idea. Like, let's put all these servers under one building, so if we ever have to expand, everyone's just fucked for a whole week. Ugh. I like this one a lot, mostly because people don't use dunk as much as they used to. It means it gives the impression of. Let me look it up. It does not just mean dunking a sick dunk. I like how they put this one in there too. It's like an opinion you have. It's so clinical, but it really says a lot about the dragons that they're like, ah, babies, like machines, they're all the same thing. Which kind of makes sense. Focus on the case, s'il vous plaît. If you don't know what s'il vous plaît is, SVP is like, it's commonly used as like, please. A A U B is like, all she believed. <coughs> it, it's a shortened version because I don't think we have a short version except Aube. Aube sounds nice. It's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of spazzazz to it. I'm like, no, I guess please has to do it. It's got that P pop and that ease. Twitter only kills one person at a time.
I like this. No further victims. Although, technically speaking, there are further victims. He stole a generator, but more importantly, a couple of eggs. I like this a lot, because it feels stoic, but it also looks like, ah, I... Ugh, I mm. It's like, Bryce is sort of like, what the fuck is even going on at this point? Like, I understand being soft, strong, and professional, but Bryce at the same time is also an alcoholic who clearly lacks some degree of, of self-control. So it kind of makes sense that even when he's trying to be professional, he's sort of like, mm, from time to time. So his, his gears sometimes get caught up, and then he goes like, and then he refocuses, you know? Like, if you want to make a strong, stoic person who can do that, you gotta really paint them as stoic and strong. And Bryce has had too many slip-ups for that to... Oh, the fact that he's being a good. good. I'll see, I'll see you on the next pass. It's gonna be one of those things. I like this. I like this because it's so sassy. It's like Bryce is just sick of this. Luckily, they could get the power on before the other eggs had any uh, had any n bad effects. Unfortunately, that doesn't. The the parents of the still next don't give a shit about that. For an omelet, it's like, why don't you make? I wish there was an option. I wish there was like a little menu option. It was like to make an omelet, and everyone's like, because you're basically suggesting cannibalism. And, and, and then Bryce would be like, if he does that, you know we're going to have a major problem, right? Like, if humans start eating dragon eggs, that's going to be a... Ooh, ooh. And it's like, but well, we use stem cells. And he's like, I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm already barfing a little. <laughs> the Sebastian would be barfing a little. Because Sebastian's like, he's straightforward going. But I, I imagine that Sebastian actually breaks. Like, when he breaks, he breaks hard. He's the kind of person who could keep it up for a long time, but when he breaks, he breaks. And Bryce's the kind of person that he breaks easy, but it takes a while to get to that point. And then he's just like, Argh! And then he calms easy, but he's very strong when he gets there. He's like, just no, 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 nope's out of there, nope's. I like this. Well, that's why we asked you to come, you remember? Like, <laughs> I, I think remember works a bit better than after all. Because it's like, that's why you're here. You're not a cop. You're here because you know the guy. I hate this word a lot. I hate this word a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in. I might delete this on the second row through. I'll be like, ah, no. Make an omelet? Mm, somewhat far fetched, though. I like this because it's 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 something you would think of, and I like that this story has so many times preempted what I've been thinking. It makes sense to be like make an omelet. Ah, uh, it's a little far fetched. I like this. This is this is so this is snappy. This is like Sebastian is like not paying attention. He's like that. It certainly is far fetched, but eggs are very good in negotiations. The portal is broken, and he still has to escape. Every little bit helps. It really tries to paint that idea of what what his reasoning is. You can use them for negotiations. The portal is broken, and he still needs to escape. So anything you can use to keep him at bay is good. I mean, he could. I like this. This is nice to do, but it's still broken, and that doesn't fix the portal. Hmm. 
Ah, this is a good one, though. And poof. Hmm. But the weird thing is that Izumi fixes the portal and it's like, here's specific orders for you to use. Can Reza even leave? I can. It's Izumi just gives you the specific coordinates to go back in time. This is a nice one too. It basically sums the same up. It's not the only possibility. Um, someone else could have broken the portal. Maybe he thinks we dismantled the portal and that the eggs are the only way to get us to fix it. Because imagine this, without any major threat, what's Reza gonna do? Slowly kill more people? Good job, you're just leaving a blood trail and, and making yourself more desperate and running out of resources. Because I don't think he has infinity bullets. He has a lot of them, but he doesn't have infinity bullets. So, the situation as it is, hmm. Like, he needs something that you would legitimately be like, okay, we'll, we'll negotiate that. This is a nice one. If you could leave, this is an unnecessary uh, action. To me, at least that's how I see it, you know? It's kind of like breaking up the conversation a bit. Here again, we get some nice shifting of, uh, this is not the only possibility, someone else maybe thinks, you know? Nice breaking of pacing to keep the sentences fresh. Mm. Fair point. I, 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 I just feel this is necessary. It doesn't matter who broke the port. It doesn't matter what's going on. Reza's acting rashly and destructively. Ah, this is good, this is good. He, he kidnapped helpless eggs and used this human weapon. Something is going wrong with him. And that something can mean... Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but something about it just feels slick. I think that's what a good translation is. Is you were like, eh, that feels slick. But it's really the exact same thing. That's some slickness for you. And it uses a, a Dutch phrasing of things. To shoot into the mistake. Does that Does that show up here? Wow, there's a lot of things for shooting people. Ah, I guess I made it wrong by then, I guess. Hmm. Oh well. Who cares? How the hell is that a brief walk? I highly doubt the police station is built... You don't build a police station at the edge of town! You build it more centralized, that it can more easily reach locations. So, why would the hatchery, which is very, very clearly in a rural-ish area for some odd reason, 
Why is this? I, I guess for expansion reasons, but still. Like, why is it there? Go over the timeline again. That's not a sentence you should use to the player. Use a timeline. And then Sebastian. For dollar final fish. Wash. Sebastian. For dollar. I just love saying that sentence. I just love the look at dance. I love listening to my voice saying funny things. Ha ha! Actually, I just like mm, the little musical cues that come with it. Little jingles. Good jingles. Yeah! Oh, this feels so sad! The test results had arrived, but they didn't really give us any answers. It's like, they should give us any answers. They didn't give us any answers. So here's an important thing. If you want to write a good story, you always have to make a slip up. You always have to make a hole for someone to go through. And I feel that the big problem with this investigation is that you're not really making any major conclusions. A lot of the things you're thinking about are wrong because the story is kind of... Ugh. It doesn't work as an investigation because it's not a satisfying investigation. It's not like Sherlock Holmes where you're like, Mmm, I figured this one out with my own noodle. And you're like, Mmm, smart investigation. Like, the first investigation is fine because like, Hey, you're doing stuff. But it never sets itself up for anything. All of Reza's actions are straightforward and logical, because that's all he can be. He doesn't act out of intrigue or any s s ulterior motive, which means that he's a very flat character. An investigation is very flat. Wait, isn't this the moment where you're like... Oh my god, no. Oh my god, whoa. Okay, so this is another one of those protections to make sure you have seen all the innings. Basically, we, we only need the test results! Persistence have test results. Bryce unplay to false. Bryce status not, is not... We only need the test results, except you need all this other stuff to do it too. Like, it still gets me that this is the ending for, for Bryce. It's just... Get... Ugh. Ugh. Like, even with Anna, you have to get her to not work as hard and realize that some things are inevitable. Also, the fact your character almost consistently forgets a cure for cancer. What the fuck? Or that that's not in the report- in the thing. Like, wouldn't that be in there? Wouldn't that be in there? Oh, this is where the skip goes. Oh, because this is where Maverick's like, oh man. It's interesting that they, like, this just, just this this annoys the shit out of me. You know what would have been fun? Having a map. I don't care if it's a good map. Just get someone who likes to make maps and say, "Here's a hundred bucks. Make me a good map." And then make a map, and then be like, "This is where." And you get little marks. Like as you go through the game, there's these little marks on the map, and then there's this little point on the map that's like the abandoned farm, and you're like, "Hmm." Like, where would he be? And slowly but surely, you could sort of... You can make marks on it. Like, that's, that's pretty long task. But you could just make a map. And you could put little marks on it over time. Of, like, here's where he is, and this is where he went off to. Like, you collaborate the results, and you as a person could be like, where would he be? You know? You could sort of th figure it out. Like, that'd be a fun little idea. Like, you'd need a lot of maps, you need a lot of pictures to get that to work, but it'd be interesting. It'd be fun. And whenever you go on a date with someone, like, their icon is somewhere else on the map every single time. It's like, this is where Bryce lives, this is where Dean lives, this is where Dean works, um, this is where Anna works. You know, and as you date the Knox, that would that would be impossible to handle. Like unless you overlay the images in a certain way, that'd be impossible to do. But it is possible to just make it so that as you date characters, you cross off the locations you're at. And it'd be like, I went here with Anna, and I went here with Anna, and I went here with Anna. And it would sort of place everything. It'd be like this is all taking place in the same area. You know? That's something this is missing, is a lot of areas just feel like floating rooms. I'm in a room, it's floating in space. 
It's intrigue time. Wow, that's... <laughs> After the constant... This is so weird. Ah, this is so straightforward. It's like, boss, a moment. Alone, if you can. Instead of saying Commissioner, which is what I've been using for Sebastian, it's like, Maverick style. Not ma Maybe, actually, it would make sense for him to, to use a full title like this. Because Commissioner is such a long, winding term to use. If you use boss, it's like, I respect you, but I respect you as an authority in this moment. But I'm not going to use your full title because I'm not trying to slime up to you. And it's like, Commissioner, it's like, straight up, this situation where I need you to be nice, you know? I wonder how people are going to respond to the initial translation. I'm going to ask if I should send in the initial translation or the completed version, because the completed version will take a while, and some people might be interested the, in the ahead of time, like being like, okay, it's the rough sketch, and they can give them some extra. Here's the thing. If I send people this version, they can help me figure things out a bit, you know? So, okay, okay. Okay, do you mean, because this is not as clear as, like, do you mean at this moment or in general, like, where it says? Because in general, it's in the village. Which, for some reason, is not really a village village. Too many tall buildings. Then again, all the backgrounds are called into question with some stupid shit happening. Ugh. Like, just get a fucking map! Just having a map of a place gives so much inspiration, it's like, this is the like, here's the thing. There are people out there who like maps. And if you think about a map, what you need is you need the original town core. The original town core is either messy because it's a tribal village, or it's tightly organized because it's like the center of industry, which was organized a certain way to work a certain way. And then you expand outwards, and things are more chaotic, and they're done in chunks. Like, there are a lot of people who are like, this is how you design city maps, or how cities are organized, or how districts are organized. Find it. You can find that stuff. And it's great, and it's awesome, and it's hilarious. And then you build off from that. And those prime features, they can all fit in there. You can have the little, little, little river, and you can be like, okay, you really never cross the river, because the river separates you from a side that's not that interesting. So everything takes place on one side of the river. <clears throat> you know... Hilarious. Because you go to the beach a couple of times, you could just do it that the beach is off screen and there's a little arrow pointing. I went that way with the Dean and that way with Bryce. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. And also, it, like, it would help us set up, like, timing. You don't have to give <coughs> scale. <coughs> you can just say, this map is not to scale. It's just to give you an impression. It's like, here's the facility, here's the police. This is the distance you'd have to travel to interfere with an action here. And it would just give so much more impressions. So much more. It's like, no. Like, this is where you live. This is where the portal is at. It's like, off to the south somewhere. And the beach off to the west somewhere, and off to the north is nothing. Like, I really feel the map would have helped set the setting a bit. And again, it's... I don't know how hard, how expensive maps are, but I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't take a thousand to get someone to make a really fucking good map, you know? And perhaps at, a, at like, a thousand, you'd probably get, like, a whole bunch of extras for a really good map. Like, it's, on, like it's a map that makes people go, mm, 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 it's good, mm, it's a good map, mm, mm, mm. And you give him... The, the thing you do is you give him either you make a vague map so that the details are rough so it's like okay there's a river here and you're gonna beat the river i understand that gathering resources but i don't think map making takes as long as you think it does um so you could just to get the fucking picture be like okay these are settings we need we need to have a place that's next to the river we need to have tatsu park to cross a large enough area that it makes sense for it to be at the outside of town or to be part of a reconstruction effort um the ministry buildings need to be over here they need to be adjacent to tatsu park and adjacent to another park of some sorts or maybe that's tatsu park i don't know and it needs to be next to a large boulevard. And that might connect to the large boulevard. Like, you start to think about the environment that you're in. And you start to think about how characters live in that. Like, where does Emma go when she's on, on break? Does she go to Tatsu Park? Does she go into town? Where's the commercial district? 
how big is it? Like, when you think about those things, you start to establish a much stronger setting. And you start thinking about what's outside. Like, what don't they have? What are the limitations of this commercial district? And just thinking about that. Just creating a rough sketch. Like, just make a rough sketch. And turn that into a map maker and say, this is the rough sketch of what I have. This is what I approximately need for this map to work. And they're going to be like, okay, I'll take a look at that. And I'll... And I'll be like, okay, actually, you want to move this and this. Like, this would make a lot more sense. It's like a commercial district because in this area, there's a lot of residential areas surrounding it, so it's very easy for commercial to be um, accessed by a large clientele. And where would Shang be? Like, Shang would be over here because it doesn't work in a major commercial area, but it does work in. A <coughs> because <coughs> the thing about Shang's store is it always struck me as a one floor store that's in the middle of nowhere. Um, you could mix the European high density architecture with the broad widened American architecture. So you have the town center, which has lots of high-rise, lots of stores built into things like New York, which is european s uh, architecture, but without the... the, the you, could, you could do sprawling streets. Like, Adin is the actual old city center. Like, no one wants to improve on that because it's a shit area. Um... And they have the new city center, which is high-rises, New Yorkian. Then you have the districts, which are block-oriented, like everything is square and organized a certain way. Like, when you think about that, you start to think about, okay, would they have that? Do dragons do block-shaped districts? Or do things just get organized as people want it to? Are things sold in blocks? Are houses sold according to certain sizes, or are they all just organized depending on value? Like, here's a big one, here's a small one, here's a small one, here's a big one. Suddenly, you built on the world's minute settings. And you might say, that's not important, but... Just thinking about that gets you invested in what a dragon's person's life looks like. And you can say it's like ours, but if it's like ours, you can just find everything. You can just find what a map looks like, and find what a town looks like, and you can just take that and be like, boop, I'm done. This is the town now. I think I'm gonna stop, because I'm talking way too much about maps, and that's not relevant right now. So next time, we may or may not be touching on... No, actually, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do fucking Bryce. God damn it, Bryce, when can you just start glitching time space? Ugh. Actually, I need to finish this because this is one train of thought, and I need to finish that or I'm gonna get fucked. Also, it's hot! Damn it, Maverick! Speak everything! I think it says a lot that Maverick's been tracking him. Instead of. Oh, I guess that impression is that he's been using information and collaborating it. Hmm. That's not how triangulation works, Maverick! Triangulation doesn't tell you anything. Like, how do you know what is maximum operational areas? Do you know the ran Do you know the speed of a human? Do you know how long Reza can run or how long he can walk? Like, for fuck's sake, Maverick, you are using a lot of implied information to build this map. Like, I say, okay, at some point you can start to collaborate information and figure things out, but at the same time, how would Reza know some of these things? Ugh, uh, my head hurts. I'm done. I'm done. Next time, I'm gonna bitch about Maverick being a fucking Mary Sue know-it-all. You're not gonna live through this, Maverick. You'll have to kill me to stop me from murdering you! Intellectually! Maverick, I have a suspicion. Me, an intellectual? Maverick, you're shitting out of your ass!